Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with functions, uh, is going to concentrate on what, uh, I suppose, on the definition of what a surjective function is, or a function that's also known to be, also known to be onto. Okay? Uh, so I suppose, well, if we want to test to see whether a function is surjective, we need to have a function in the first place. Okay? So we need to have a well-defined function, and then once we have a well-defined function, we can actually test this surjective property. Okay? So let's maybe give a definition of this surjectiveness. Yeah? So let's just provide a definition. So we have a definition. Okay? Okay. Uh, the definition is going to be something like this. Actually, just wait. I just change my marker there. Okay. This is after thing. Okay. So we have a definition. Uh, so maybe let me say let let a and b. Okay. Be non-empty, non-empty sets. Okay. Non-empty sets. Okay. So let a and b be non-empty sets, and uh, let let f be a mapping from the set a into the set B, okay? Uh, then, okay, then I suppose we say, okay, we say that, that F, that F is surjective, that F is, is, that F is surjective, surjective, okay, surjective, okay, or onto, okay, or onto, okay, okay, uh, if, okay, if, okay, for for every for every element so for every element in the set b okay for every element in the set b okay there exists there exists at least one at least at least one one element a in the set a there that there exists at least one uh, a in the set a okay uh, such that such that f of a okay f of a uh, is equal to b. So f of a is equal to b. Okay? That's an important, this is an important definition. It's the definition of surjective functions. Yeah. So this is how we define a surjective function. So maybe just to try to, to try to exemplify actually what's going on and just for our understanding, uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to have a look at some, 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 let's say, arrow diagrams. Yeah. So let's just consider, consider some arrow, arrow diagrams. Okay. So arrow diagrams. Uh, so let's say that we have a set, let's say we have a set A, and let's say that we have a set B, okay? Let's say we have something like this, okay? Uh, and let's say we have a number of elements here, okay? One, two, three, uh, let's say four, and maybe over here what we have is we have one, two, three, four also over here, four elements over there, four, the cardinality of both sets is four, and let's say we have a function f, the function f is mapping values from the from the domain, this is the domain, the whole set here, from the domain into the particular co-domain, this particular set over here, okay? And the one thing about function is that for a function, okay, so this function is defined, the function is defined to be taking values from a into b and we know by a definition by a definition of our function okay that must take every value from a into b okay so actually for this to be a function one of the conditions that it needs to satisfy is that every value here must be taken to some value over here okay that makes sense now so in this particular situation we have every single value here is mapped into a value over in this set b okay so that's the first condition the second condition to be a function is that we can never have two arrows leaving a, spin a single a single point okay we can never have two arrows leaving a single point in our domain and going to separate points in the codomain okay and we don't have that situation uh, here so this is a well defined function that's defined using these arrow diagrams okay so the question is this is is this function the way it's defined is this function is is f surjective okay is it surjective okay so how can we figure out this okay well what it says is this is that for every value in b okay so here's the set b okay b is the codomain okay so for every value in b okay there needs to exist at least one value in a okay so for every single value here we need to have at least one value over here okay at least one value over here such that when i pass this value into the function it's taken to the value b okay so really what it's saying is this is that every value every value in the set b in the codomain okay every value okay 
every value here okay must have an arrow coming into it from some value over in the domain okay so actually this function here is surjective yeah okay is f surjective the answer is yes it is yes it is okay let's have a look, look at another another example okay of what might be or might not be a surjective function and also i'm going to just look at them through arrow diagrams uh, later on we're going to define a function